There you go. This is the Alpha 1986 Alfa Romero Spider Graduate or Graduate. <laughs> I don't know. I might pronounce it wrong. But this is one of the iconic uh, Alfa Romero Spiders. Well, unfortunately, the Mazda Miata killed this car, basically. This is more on the later uh, models of this car. Because there's one, there's another version of this that came out a little bit later. I'm just trying to get rid of the glare for you guys. There you go. Because the later model on which it never came into the US, I think it, it did or whatever. It has a more streamlined rear end on the Spider. This one is more in the later versions. It says graduate or graduate or whatever. And I like the I like this design because all the lights work in Europe, I think. I think these are uh, it all it's it lights up at night, brake lights and these are fog lights. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Since I don't live in Europe or I never lived in Europe, so I don't know the cars over there, but yeah, out of respect and ho uh, homage to this vehicle, I'd rather I like to show it to you guys, to my few fans out there. So he has that nice wooden steering wheel. Another cars that I'm too scared to own are Italian cars, because of course, you know, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> So, um, moving on, this is the Fiat X19 or the Berton X19. I know the Berton came in later, but if I'm going to add this car in a video game, should I use the later model Berton, Bertoni, or the Fiat version? But that's besides the point. So this is the, this is the one that is just like the MR2 back in the day. It's rear engine, two seater, Targa, sports car. And let's go to the description right here. So, yep. The later models is called Bertoni or Berton X19 or X19. And oh, someone broke it. Damn. That'll take forever to replace. But there you go, it's a Targa top. Just like the MR2. Well, this came throughout the 80s, of course, way before the, the first generation MR2. And it's just, I like the layout actually. I don't know if I can fit. I'm not allowed to go in and everything, but it's, it's significant. Too bad, rest in peace Bertoni. I hope someone restores the design house because they they have a very significant styling on Bertoni. See, look at that. The Bertoni badge. And it has that obligatory uh, US front bumper which sticks out like, like a sore thumb at some degree. Don't get me wrong, there's some designs that are nice back in the 80s with those big bumpers but not on this one unfortunately so there you go it has even the steering wheel is bertoni right there as you can see very very significant in my opinion and i also like the design of the x19 too because it's somewhat unappreciated vehicle in the sports car world or the sporty car world but it needs to be mentioned kailangan ko i-mention tong sasakyan na to kasi wala nakakalam dito eh mas popular pa nga tong spider eh this is more popular than this and not many people knows about the X19 although most of them are rusted away whatsoever but it's just bearing to mind that I appreciate cars like this so moving forward Another Bertoni designed car. Oh, it's a Lamborghini. Yuraco. Okay. Yuraco. Nice. P300. 
Okay, it's a Lamborghini, so just there you go. So I think this is like the predecessor to the all well, the Gallardos, the Huracan, or even the concept Kala. You know, this is a V8. No, Lamborghinis doesn't do V8s anymore. It starts with a V10, then V12s. But still, it's still a significant history from Lamborghini. Try not to touch the car as much as I can. And it's hard to see the back of this thing. It's nice orange, reddish orange color. So there you go. Nice. Uraco 3000. Nice. Oh, it's a US version. He has that big bumper right here. Red turn signals. Ah. So, yeah. You can tell if it's an American spec. He has those obligatory corner lights and red turn signals, which is, ugh. It should be amber. Amber, keep it, keep it amber. There's nice louvers over here. And it's also a 2 plus 2. Even till now, Lamborghini hasn't produced a four-seater sports car. But it's coming soon. But Oh, look at that. It's a nice, neat, nice sticker over there. So there you go, the Uraco P300. And next, this might be the last in this row. This long row right here. This car I'm not familiar with. It's one of the small manufacturer cars, like it's called the Otas 820 Grand Prix. Look at the size difference between this Otas and the X19. The X19 looks bigger than this thing. Actually, the X19 is bigger. But of course, different generation, it's made in 1971. So Otas is like Brabus back in the day for Fiat so like like it's gonna be like an, a barf but they made their own bodies see look at that 820 cc and surprisingly enough this is a US based model so this car was made in 1971 so no stupid oversized bumpers like like the X19 and that Uraco right there this one still has the sexy Thin, elegant rear bumpers yet still red turn signals at the back oh man oh well just to cater to the American buyers I think and I think this one has a rear engine right I think it's rear engine let me see it has a hundred mile an hour top speed so this this uh yep rear engine now the main engine, rear engine, the engine's right here. It's like a Porsche and Volkswagen or some Abarth models. So this is a US spec model. So I can't put my hand in too much. So I'm just gonna zoom it in. There. I love how they centralize the gauges and they put the radio right on the passenger side. That's good. That's all you need to do. Drive. Don't don't tinker with your radio. Just drive. Let the passenger tinker with the radio. You have to assign your DJ and something. Yeah, very simple, very very purpose-built sports car. Although it's not fast, but I bet this car can handle for 1970 standards. See, it has those classic what's it? Western wheels. Oh, nice. Looks like a Westinghouse first. <laughs> then he has that nice hand, hand painted pinstripe. See, look at see, see you can see that it's hand painted. That's a nice detail. Very nice. And this this car is up to my hips. That's how small this low this car is. See, this is. 
See cars back in before 1973 in the US. See it. You just have this one tube. That's it. Very clean. And of course the side reflectors right there. See, because after 1973, these rear front bumpers grew and grew like there's more bumper than the car itself. But yep, that's it for the four car marathon here.